Hi everyone, I'm back and now I did say I'm going to show you how to do the um, plaque I've just done. But first of all, I just want to show you the door. And I'm just going to get the other one. I'm, I should have got it first, sorry. But um, that is how it looked. Like that. And that's how I've ended up. Uh, that's the result I've ended up with. Um, I did take the bottom plate off these two hinges and the fairy sign and the bead. Uh, and I've done it that way. So I just thought I'll show you that. Okay? So you'll see it's coming on. Now, take a board, a, a canvas or whatever you want to do. Get yourself a butterfly, cut yourself uh, one out of chipboard. This was a pre-made one, it was come on a, a chime thing or something like that. It's just card. On top of that, I followed the lines already using the hot glue gun. Okay? Now, I have to be really careful. That's all you do is you just follow along the lines using the glue gun like that. Okay? And then when you've done that, glue it down to your board. And I put mine onto this canvas. Then what you do is you take your tin foil and just get the impression of where you're going to have it like that. Well you don't have to do this but I did and then just lift that off. I did mine for a reason. Now what you need to do is plaster this with glue okay. Now, I've just dabbed the, that's it, I tried not to fasten it too much. Um, and like I say, just take your brush, like that, and plaster it all with glue. Yeah. Oh well, don't matter about it dripping anyway, we don't fuss. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Sorry, I hope you can see this. Plenty of glue on. You really should let this dry before um, you move on to the colouring. But I don't have time for that because I'm doing a tutorial. So we will just pretend. <laughs> but uh, and you'll see what I mean. And I've already taken a template of this butterfly so I'm not worried about it at all. Using it up. Okay, so there you go. Just soak my brush. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh dear. Put my oh, glue lid's not back on. Oh, wait, mate. Sorry, I can't do it. I think that's it. Right, the template disappeared, <laughs> never mind, place that on the top, like that, okay, and you need to like burnish it into the nooks and crannies, it really should be pressed in where you can see everything. Doesn't matter if the paper creases at all. Ow. Now all I'm going to do for now is just tuck that under like that, okay? Mm. 
and just to tuck it under like that just so that it's out the way basically now when what you need maybe not have put enough of glue on you do need to put e enough glue on um, is your burnishing tool where's mine here's mine okay because it has to dry it has to get into those nooks and crannies see oh it's really awkward doesn't stop me and it's really awkward like that uh, and then we'll just move that in there like that do as I mean you can use as many little tools as you have but you do have to let it dry that's the thing you have to put enough glue on it to start with and let it dry mine hasn't but it doesn't matter you can see what I'm doing so when you've prepared it and got it all done like that I hope you're seeing sorry then here's the fun bit this is the bit I like now my it does need to be glued down properly is take your blending tool ow 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 again again okay now uh, take your alcohol inks now right now I'm going to use the raspberry um, let me just undo this because I don't want it squirting everywhere take your um, raspberry um, and for this one you just drop a, a little bit in like that okay Oops, I haven't put the... That's it. I'm doing it this way, because this is the way I want to do it. Just dab it a couple of times and leave alone, okay? Then take your next colour, which I'm going to be doing uh, a blue. Okay. And we want this on the edges. Like that. Still using the same pad. Take it up, but don't touch it. Take it up. like that see I'm going to take that to the end of it yep I can safely say that's fine not fussed about anything else but what I am going to do is add a bit more colour So I'm just going to add uh, a touch of green. No, I'm not. I'll just leave that. I will use the green, but I'm just going to choose um, a different one to start with. I'm just going to try a little bit of this. I uh, These are the Letra Set uh, inks. It's Letra Set. And I absolutely love all of them, all of the alcohol inks. Still using the blending tool. I've not put no blending solution on at all. I don't want to do that. And just tap away. Just clear some of that up. Which all blends in together. 
like that. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the raspberry, actually. And I get that to... And it's gone like a purpley pink now. Okay. And just dab it where you want it. I love that. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, I've got a little one here uh, that I'm going to put some, like an orangey colour on with a green. And that is the forest green and the vinegar. Okay. And then what you do is just go around the edges like that. And it just, it shoots the colour out. It's gorgeous, look at that. Don't worry about the edges of that yet, I'm not finished. Let's do that. Turn it on its side, you know, to get in the nooks and crannies. Like that. See how that stood out already. Um, and then what I want to do is, with the pink bit that's left, is I'm just going to go around the edge. Oops, today is it? Yeah. Let's get some of that pinky colour around the edge. Wow. <laughs> uh, and if you're not happy with this bit, it gets a bit of the colour run, just go back over it. Now, I'm, I'm just going to put these back together, please. the green one. Let me just do this. And I'm just going to use one more colour, which I've got a bright orange here, what it's called mandarin, and I do, I do like it, and I need to swap these over, set that off, put the mandarin back on, if it'll stick. Ugh should stick. Might have enough on it actually. No, only a little bit more on the corners. Just on the corners and and it starts to blend itself in with everything else. Oh I like that. It's just a Dab a little bit of colour in your project. Like that. And give that a little edge. Now, I'm not going to show you the next bit because it did take me a hell of a long time, hence why it's not too neat. Um, the next bit was I hand painted over all the lines with a thin brush and um, and then hand painted the antenna iron but you could actually glue um, uh, some in fact I think I've got some here I've already got some made that I keep stock of to make me own and uh, I'm just going to glue these on. And hold them into place. Just glue them on like that. Now, 
the next bit is the fun bit for me. This is when I play. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the embossing powder. Oh. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on there. Fairly thickish. Um, and hopefully I'm going to bring this in directly on top. You can hear that cracking. And what you do is, you go around each bit. Um, I mean, you can use something like this or a Versamark pen and then put your embossing powder on. But I'm just showing you what to do. Uh, and then what you do is, if you look, imagine you've got to paint the blackness on it, but look at that. Isn't that stunning? It just It's just gorgeous. Um, I love it. Beautiful, bright, colourful. And the kids would have a fantastic time. As long as you've done the gluing for them, they would have a fantastic time playing around with the alcohol inks doing that. I hope that helps. All you do then is hand paint it. Before you put your embossing powder on, just hand paint it. But the embossing powder will keep it all set in colour uh, and keep the colour going. Like that. And you just put two or three layers on. You could do the whole butterfly with the, the embossing powder um, two or three times. And look what you'll end up with. It'll be absolutely stunning. Thanks for watching. I'll see. Uh, speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.